wisdom born of experience, should tell us that war is obsolete. If we are to have peace on earth, our loyalties must become ecumenical rather than sectional. No individual can live alone, no nation can live alone, and as long as we try, the more we're going to have war in this world. And we must either learn to live together as brothers, or we're all going to perish together as fools. Yes. As nations and individuals, we are interdependent. It really boils down to this, that all life is interrelated. We are all caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny, and whatever affects one directly yes, sir. affects all indirectly. We are made to live together because of the interrelated structure of reality. And did you ever stop to think that you can't leave for your job in the morning without being dependent on most of the world? Yes. You get up in the morning and go to the bathroom and reach over for the sponge and that's handed to you by a Pacific Islander. You reach for the bar of soap and that's given to you at the hands of a Frenchman. And then you go in the kitchen to drink your coffee for the morning. And that's poured in your cup by a South American. Or maybe you want tea. That's poured in your cup by a Chinese. Or maybe you are desirous of having cocoa for breakfast, and that's poured in your cup by a West African. And then you reach over for your toast, and that's given to you at the hands of an English-speaking farmer, not to mention the baker. And before you finish eating breakfast in the morning, you are dependent on more than half of the world. Yes. This is the way our universe is structured. It is its interrelated quality. We aren't going to have peace on earth until we recognize this basic fact of the interrelated structure of all reality.